let's stay with the spring theme. We look very springy today, yes, we don't do. we? Great to have <laughs> Sherry Tarkis back on the show because don't let just common health problems put a damper on that spring trip that you have planned. Holistic uh, pharmacist Sherry Tarkis back on the show. And I always, fo I always follow the questions that are written for me, Sherry. Ooh, okay. The, fir the first question, <laughs> sorry if you're eating, how can we prevent traveler's diarrhea? Oh, yes. I mean, great <laughs> breakfast talk. However, this is something that often happens when we're going to developing countries, Cuba, Dominican, Mexico, other places where the hygiene standards may not be, right. like we have here in Canada, possible contamination of food or water, you get a bug in your gut and it can leave you in the bathroom instead of on the beach. It's <laughs> not so much fun. Not okay, so, so much what can we fun. Do? So you have to be careful when you're consuming uh, fruits and vegetables and things that you're not cutting or peeling yourself. I always enjoy pineapple when I'm away. Yeah. Um, sliced pineapple, mangoes, bananas. These are great because bananas you peel yourself. And if you do get traveler's diarrhea, bananas can help because of the electrolytes and the soluble fiber. That's a good point. But some th things that you can peel, that are, is, that's the that best way to ideal. go. That is ideal. If you have, if you're staying at a place where the hygiene standards are questionable, maybe it's not the five star, maybe yeah. it's the three star, and you're a little bit worried. Um, but for prevention, and this is super important probiotics, so beneficial bacteria, friendly bacteria. You should start taking these before you go, about a week or two before you go, and take them during your trip. So this is the one that I take when I go away, and actually I take regularly. It's called Chiodophilus. So it's stable and at room temperature. You do not have to refrigerate that. Right. So this contains a group of bacteria called the friendly trio. <laughs> so these are friendly, these are good bugs. Again, the purpose of that is to keep the gut bacteria levels optimized and it helps prevent the bad bacteria, the E. coli and the other pathogens from adhering to the gut. There's also chewables as well, the Chiodophilus chewables for kids. So you can take that with you before, during and after your trip. And as a side note, if you are taking antibiotics, for whatever reasons, even a respiratory infection, most common side effect is diarrhea. Probiotics can help prevent that. Okay, moving on. So stress. Yeah. Some people get stressed, whether it's the lineups at the airport. Yeah, well, a lot of time I don't, I, I just, until I get there. So how do you deal with some, some of that stress? Right, so some natural you, ways to take the edge off the stress would be to use something like this. This is called Relax, and it contains passion flower and lemon balm. This is a spray, and so you just spray this in, the, in your mouth. You can take it literally an hour before you anticipate a stressful situation, whether, again, it's the lineups at the airport or the flight. I love this because it's non-sedating. I'm just going to open this up and show you what we have here. So it's non-sedating, and you just, again, take a spray okay. into your mouth. Uh, it's non-addictive, so that works very well. Or tablets. You or the tablets, tablets as well. Okay. We have a couple minutes left. I want to get to everything here. What do we have right in front okay. of us? Okay, sunscreens. We always need mm -hmm. to put sunscreen on when we're getting out in the sun. Wide brim hats, of course. So there's a difference between the sunscreens that you'll see in the pharmacies or the health food stores. You have chemical and mineral sunscreens. So those are two basic forms. Chemical sunscreens contain ingredients like oxybenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and all those, those other words. hard to pronounce uh, chemicals. And there's concerns because chemical sunscreens are absorbed through the skin. They can cause hypersensitivity reactions. There's benzenes in the sprays, which are bad for the environment, bad for our lungs. So I would say just using a mineral-based sunscreen. Okay. Mineral sunscreens contain ingredients such as zinc, and zinc provides a physical barrier to the sun's rays. So you put this on your skin, it works right away. You don't have to apply it, say, 20 minutes before you go out in the sun. So this is the one that I use. This is called Green Beaver, and it's a Canadian company. Okay, and it's 40. Yep, this has SPF 40, 40 right. and it's water-resistant, hypoallergenic. And what I want to show you is when you put this on, it's non-whitening. So do you see how that goes on sheer and clear and it's moisturizing? Unlike the zinc sunscreen, say from 10, 15 years ago, they were very whitening. Right. You'd have that whiteness on your skin. What do you have the aloe so here? So this is great. The aloe. Um, and don't forget your lips. Okay. So the reason I have the aloe here is if you do get a sunburn, let's hope you don't, right. but if you do get sunburn, aloe is very uh, soothing, very uh, healing, so you can apply that to your skin skin to help promote healing. Yeah, you can literally pinch the leaf and Pinch the leaf up. and use I have one of these. Yeah, and I've, I've used those on blemishes, right. minor cuts and irritation. Okay. So aloe is great. Okay. Only got uh, a minute left. Motion so, sickness. Right. So it's an issue for a lot of people, especially yeah. if you're going out in rough waters and mm. even you're car. crazy in the car, right. right, airplane. Ginger is a really uh, effective, natural, anti-nausea uh, food. And you can actually just make your own ginger ale, suck on ginger root. 
a bit pungent. Ginger tablets are also really good. I like this Ginger Rescue. These are okay. chewables, so that's very helpful. What's the last one here? And if you have issues with jet lag, say you're traveling for more than three hours in one direction, that change in time zones can throw off your sleep cycle. So melatonin can really help to reset that uh, internal clock to get your sleep cycle back on track, help you fall asleep, stay asleep, get a more restful night's sleep. So if you're heading over to Europe or Asia or other places, Consider some melatonin. We got to everything. Look we at you, did. Sherry yes, Torkis. Yes, we did. And uh, I have all this Carpenter. on my website, too. What's the website again? SherryTorkis.com. So if you want more information or recommendations, you can you can have... Can I take, can I take yeah, a little I bit can, more, I more of this? I can leave you one of okay. these if you would I like. I have one of these, but I don't really use it that much. It's oh, so look good. at all the goodness this is coming out of there. All that stuff, yeah. All right, yeah. yeah oh, that's good stuff right there, right? Love it. One more live coming up. Hi, Sherry. You're welcome.